the British rule. Nehru adored children and believed them that they were the backbone of any strong developing nation. And Children's Day was celebrated in India first on November 2, 1948. Dr. Rose called Flower Day to raise the money apple for the children by selling flower tokens, hence the name. Because of his affection for the children, Jawaharlal Nehru's birthday, November 14, was designated as Children's Day by the special government, Dupree, in 1947. Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru was adamant about giving each and every child equal opportunities and education. Education and rights among the children are utmost importance of every child everywhere in the world. Children's Day is not only about giving gifts to kids and organizing events for them. It is a special day to recognize their importance for nation building and providing opportunities for them to fly high to achieve their goals. It is a duty for every country to provide equal opportunity and education to their children and ensure the children that enjoy good health. The children must empower their young minds and our future generation and development of the country depends on them. And let's make a commitment today in honor of Jawaharlal Nehru and celebration of Children's Day. We have to work together to create a public understanding of value education and rights of the children. Children are the future of any nation and if we want to develop our nation, we have to work diligently to protect our children from exploitation to make a better future for them. Furthermore, it is up to us and children have to work hard to make our families and nation proud. With this, I conclude my speech and wish you all a very happy children's